E-cigarettes under fire tonight. President Trump pitching a ban of thousands of flavors to keep underage kids from vaping. Good evening, I'm Richard Ransom. And I'm Gatino Rankin. Kids are smoking less tobacco, using fewer drugs, even drinking less alcohol. But vaping numbers are soaring. And local vape stores say the feds are looking in the wrong direction. Local 24 News reporter Caitlin McCarthy here now with tonight's top story. Caitlin. Well, Richard and Katina, both a pediatrician and a vape store owner say if it happens, the ban will be misguided. They say kids aren't addicted to non-tobacco flavors, but to the nicotine. They also say it's where and who these kids are getting their vape products from that should worry you. The scariest part to me is that our kids are vaping at rapidly increasing numbers. Um, it's been the fastest growing addictive substance use that we've seen in generations. Pediatrician Michelle Bowman says vaping among kids is a deadly trend. While the industry waits for the FDA's final approval, the Trump administration wants to ban all vape products that are non-tobacco flavored. Their appeal is that they can be discreet, have no smell, and come in different flavors. But Dr. Bowman says it's the nicotine that hooks these young minds. That nicotine content is really for an adolescent brain is actually even more addictive to a teenager than it is to an adult. One vape shop owner credits vaping with helping him get off of cigarettes. But he realizes the downside of popular products like Juul has on kids. They like this buzz, and especially with the Juul, it was such a high dose of nicotine. It's meant for a heavy smoker, not for a non-smoking youth. But it's hard to keep teenagers away from trendy products. It used to be, I want to blow clouds, I want to do smoke tricks, I want to do this. Inadvertently, if I were to bet at some point along the way, well, let's try a little bit of nicotine. Oh, that feels good. Donk says he doesn't want vape shops to get a bad rap. Most won't sell products to anyone under 18, and they've never been linked to deaths and lung diseases. Those products are being sold on the street from untrustworthy dealers and are the most cause for concern. The best thing they could do for their current and future health is to stop. And six people have died from vaping and hundreds more have gotten sick in just the last few months. Initial reports indicate most were sickened after vaping black market THC that had vitamin E oil in it. That's why the Trump administration is pushing for the ban until the FDA decides what's next. In the studio, Caitlin McCarthy, Local 24 News. All right.